It's fun to think back to the time we came to the Phillips first together. Back then, we were in graduate school uh, at Penn in Philadelphia, and we had come down uh, to visit Matt's parents. We were uh, engaged at the time, or about to be engaged, uh, for a weekend. And uh, as parents are, they never liked us to sneak out, because then we were leaving them, and they were getting less time with us. But we, we snuck out, and we came over here and from Arlington and miraculously found a parking place. And uh, it was a wonderful experience really a unique experience because we'd each been here before but now we had the opportunity to share a museum that was very special to us individually as a couple and that was since we both were passionate about art I should add that since we were both passionate about art I had come to love art uh, in college but I discovered it too late to major in it and so then I met Matt who was getting a doctorate in art history, and it was like, oh, I can have it all. <laughs> I don't have to major in it after all. And uh, so we came in here, and uh, I remember very vividly there was a Larry Poons. I'd never seen a Larry Poons before, and here were all these little oval uh, polka dots in different pastel colors all over the canvas, and it was like, it was a big, big wall sized piece, and we were standing there, it was like, Wow! And that's what brought us together. She was getting a PhD in English. I was getting one in art history. We were at Penn. We fell in love and we began to open up our worlds to each other and our sharing. And we go all over the world to museums now, but we always come back to the Phillips. I remember in teaching classes at Ohio State where I taught for 25 years, um, introducing students to abstract art who'd never come in touch with it. And I always use the Phillips as my examples to those students. The Rothko breathing on me, the just walking into the room with that Larry Poons and, and chuckling because it was just bebopping back and forth across the painting. So I shared these things with Tricia. It was part of the bond of my life to her life, which we're back here. And we've been married 43 years, so it, it's kind of a, just a delightful way of having time to look at things and think about things, and then maybe years later putting things together in a different way for yourself. This is such a wonderful place. <laughs> I mean, there aren't very many museums in Washington that you can join, um, and this is, this is the one we belong to.